<laughs> I've decided you can be trusted with the secret of my parentage. My mother knew the dark arts, for we come of a dark people. She, she was full-blood gypsy. Uh, through her blood was passed to me the ability to see into the future, which all our tribe possesses deep within, but only a few know how to bring up to the surface. My mother taught me before she died how to read the future in the lines of a hand. Oh, some tea leaves. Uh, every time my father caught her teaching me the ancient secrets of our tribe, she would beat her severely, and me as well. But she took most of the blows, shielding me with her body, until one night he shot her, and then himself, as I lay shaking in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so that is how you come to us? Yes! And what does my hand say? <laughs> Business is good and bad, and good again. Uh, but this line, all the way curving off the side, love till you draw your last breath. The hand does not lie. Well, I'm glad you have deemed us trustworthy with this secret. And I see no reason to keep your gift hidden from the public. Well, once we're away from here, yes, I would not wish to yeah, of course. shame my mother's I memory. understand. We'll pick up where we left off at the next jump. Well, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that before? Because well, she just made it up. Well, not all of it, just the gypsy part. <laughs>
You know, that new kid's got a great act. Because while people may or may not delight in an aquatic human, a saucy torso, or a boy <laughs> with a very small head, <laughs> everybody wants to know the future. What's to become of us? What lies in store? A thousand, thousand, ten shows more, or one tremendous blaze of glory, flash into the night sky, all they saw. Because the jilted lover in our tawdry little story left a box of matches in the pinhead straw. <laughs> or are we run out of town by crowd and clergy? Because the sight of some monstrosity caused a pregnant woman to miscarry. <sighs> so, what do you think? What'll it be? Am I burned in effigy? Or on stage number three? And does my lady love stand first beside me? Of course, darling. I got no legs. How could you not love a woman like that? <laughs> but returning to the question at hand, on reflection, it's too much demand placed on our pinhead's thin shoulders, the destruction of the universe. No, ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you. Won't one of you dip the first match to the tinder? Sign a petition? Brand me a sinner? No? I'll let you in on a little secret. We did not end in flames. <laughs> Economics did us in! Sound familiar? <laughs> or really, I think it was those plain Calvinists in their speech pipe. Draw all the good people away to cultivate the purposes of their souls at home. Right. Ah. <laughs> and all these beautiful creatures you see behind me, hand plucked from the most exotic corners of the earth, are now unemployed. Yeah. Sure. McAllister. <laughs> Not much. Is it? Sad, small, tedious, <laughs> barely worth the price of admission. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let it end like this, not after all we've been through. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a fitting end for us, and certainly not for you. True. So come, children, let us show how it should have been.